this is Archdo here. Today I'm back for another Kudu video. Uh, that's my second Kudu video actually. Um, today we're going to be looking at programming, um, well, your character and maybe at some of the things. So, programming um, things in the world as well. It'll be a very uh, programmy. Um, I don't want to play it. Uh, um, game today. So, um, yeah, it should should be good. So what you do programming, so you go back on this one and then you right click on your character. It doesn't have to be the cycle, obviously you can be anything you want out of this or the rover or the Kodu. So you right click, program. Okay, so then it comes to this. Um, I've got two things here, so you should press when. So when uh, keyboard. Um, WASD, I'm going to put, or you could put arrows. So now I'm turning the, uh, well, the game maker, the when we press WASD, it will do, so I haven't put that in yet, it will move um, quickly. Let's make it quite quickly. Um, so now if we take it off and press play, and I play WASD. There we go. It's moving. But uh, one of the key parts I think is making him jump. I quite like making him jump. So let's uh, that programming. When you go get another one. When keyboard. Uh, is there a space in there? There. When keyboard space do. I have to find it. Actions jump. Uh, let's try low, see what it does when it's low. If not, we'll try high. Oh no, it's not very high at all, is it? So let's change that to. Hi. Right. Play. There you go, okay, that is quite high. <laughs> but there you go, he's jumping and moving now. So that's that is quite good. Okay, so so I'm gonna show you a couple of settings now. If of course um if the character goes off the edge he dies, but you do have a choice to put glass walls on, so I've got it on here. He can't actually go off the edge, I'm going straight into it, but he can't go off the edge. If I went onto the settings, here's glass walls, let's turn it off. Let's play. Wait, we should get over there. It's going quite slowly at the moment. There we are. It goes right off. But obviously, I haven't set set it to um do a game over at the moment. Yeah, where's the world there? So, uh, I think it's a good idea to put glass walls on. And yeah, you can um. Ok, I'm set the sky. You can set the sky for different things, so obviously I've got it on normal sky at the moment, but you can set it to that. You can set it to all types of things. I quite like that actually. Let's make it... Uh, sorry, that looks like this. Can't have it to... Mars. Yeah, that's quite nice. Ok. Obviously you can make it bigger if you want. Let's see if we can uh, make a couple of paths. Make a path going out here. As you can see the world gets bigger when you do that. And maybe... Uh, have another island over here. So we don't, we're not like confined to that area. We can go wherever we want. This um, thermometer on this side, that decides how much you put in. So you put loads of trees in and that, and that goes red right to the top. That means you've put the max amount of things you can in. So it is limited, unfortunately, but uh, it is a game maker. It's not um, all easy. Right then. Okay, so you've got another island. Two islands now. Two paths leading to each one. Let's see if we can put a, a bit of scenery in. So let's have... tree. <laughs> this one, a bit there. Change it. Um, oh, 
leave it like all to me like that. Let's copy, paste under one over here, here, and here. It should be more minutes going up a little bit there, so it is limited. Um, let's put castle What's there, <laughs> there. Yeah, it's quite good, and um, you can program the castle to do stuff. So you go to that one, right click, program. Uh, so we can do do things on here. Um, I've got an idea of what this game is going to be about later on when we get into the proper programming of the game. So now, if I uh, go to play the game, uh, I can move about, I can jump, I can go on these paths. It won't let me off because of glass walls. And um, I can go right up to the castle. Okay, so I'm going to do one other thing before we stop the video. Actually, uh, a couple of other things. I'm going to put the paintbrush on. Actually, no, that one on. And I'm going to click on these boxes here. And then you can change it to different type of brush you want to make it. And um, this is the hilly tool, this one. But I think you can do it for um, the other hilly tools and the paintbrush tool as well. So let's change that one. And with this one, you can just put the whole of it up like that. And that actually looks quite cool now. And um, I'll change it back to the hand and the paintbrush one. I should be able to paint that all in like that. I think that's all painted in. No. Okay, the right click, by the way, when you're doing this, is to move about like that, and the left click is to move it around like that. No, the right click is to move it around like that, the left click is to do that. Okay. And the scroll is how to go in and out. And now we've got a little crater in the middle. We can put water down. Make it a little bit more interesting. We can make it different colours. So I've got a weird, weird little planet going here. So I'm going to put it like this. Try not to flood the whole world. There we go. There we are. I quite like the looks of that. And if you play it. Unfortunately now though glass walls doesn't protect you from going in the water you can now go in the water and it is quite fun but yeah it can get a little annoying when you're trying to jump out and you keep on doing that <laughs> yeah I've got stuck down here now oh there we go I got out so anyway that's basic today of the video is uh, about making your world bigger how to make it look quite interesting, uh, putting a bit of scenery out, programming your character to make him move, and things like that. Obviously, you can have a little explore, and next next week we'll have we'll go deeper into the programming of the game, and not just the character. So, guys, um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, favorite, or subscribe in the area below, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.